Hey guys, welcome back to Gamma with Dylan, and today we're here with Plague Inc. Evolved. I told you I'd be playing Skyrim today, and I had intended to play Skyrim today, but right now I just got home from work. You can see I'm a little flushed in the face, I just fucking got out of work. I went to work at 10 o'clock last night, I got done at 7, I got... I chose, but it was still a pain in the ass if I had known what was going to happen after, to meet the guy who would be training me for the next couple of days, because they needed a position filled, and they want me to fill the position. I would assume it's because I'm young and I probably have more energy than most people. I'm working third shift, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Point is, I met him. It took me till 7.30. So 7.30 rolled around and I tried to call a cab or get a ride home. And I couldn't. I couldn't again. Waited at half an hour. Still couldn't. So now it's 8 o'clock. So around 8.15 I decided I was tired of fucking waiting and calling people. So I started walking. So after having a 10 to 7 day, 10 night, I took an hour walk in the rain home. So I'm tired, my nose is stuffed, and I just want to relax a little bit. I'm here with Plague Inc. Evolved, which I had spent a lot of time on recently. And when I say a lot of time, I mean last night or the night before. The night before. I beat every single plague I had, and some new ones, several times. And locked a bunch of genes. That way things would be easier. And with that said, I have the healthy hydrogen for the vampire, I have urban environment for the vampire, which means it, the disease spreads better in an urban environment. And I have, what was it? Fuck. I have to start. I'm going to choose to start in Central America. Go ahead here. I have, Native biome increases infectivity in your starting country. Urban herbophile gives your plague a bon bonus. Uh, gives your plague a bonus in urban environments. So in an urban environment, for most people who are watching this, you're in an urban environment right now. An urban neighborhood, an urban town, blah blah blah. You can look it up, but it means places like America, places like Japan. Places with big cities, with beautiful houses, and happy families. That is an urban environment. So in those areas, it gets a bonus. And then I have Health Eater, which I earned when I beat the vampire for the first time on my own. I wasn't recording, so i sorry about that, guys. I have an idea of how to beat it. And I'm doing it on a casual. I'm going to unlock a few of the genes and, genes, genes and casual, like Health Eater and stuff. And then I'll go to normal. And if I can beat it normal, I might go to Meg or Brutal. And after a little while of that, I might move on to Mega Brutal and I'll do it with the vampires. And if it's so desired, I'll go back and play a bunch of other plagues, like the virus, the nano plague, the zombie plague. It's not called the zombie plague, but it is a zombie thing. I might go back and play the eight plague. There's a bunch of things I can go back and do because I've learned a thing or two. But now let's get back onto this. Let's, this a vampire rises in Central America. The world has changed beyond belief, but the vampire can already smell the blood of billions of humans waiting to be consumed and subjugated. Start at 27 points. Start with symptoms. Shadow blessing. The vampire releases the shadow plague to help subjugate humanity. The victims develop severe bruising. Vampires give him blood gift. Vampires visit hundreds of human genes tonight and mark them in blood, infecting them with the shadow plague. A night wraith. Vampires adapt to the modern world. They are able to feed much more stealthily, as well as conceal their presence, making, them hard, making it harder for humans to detect vampires and give them a lair. I realize now, though I should have known from the beginning, that darks, dark pulsate, pustules, pulsate, whatever, consists of developing fill with dark pus, increasing infectivity, harder to cure. That's inside the body. They're not going to notice it. Not right away. But it's not something I need to get right now. Right now, let's create a base in Central America where I am. The vampire creates a lair in Central America, hidden away from humans. 
This lair acts as a base for the vampires. Here, vampire, here it can heal itself as well as generate DNA points by conducting genetic experiments on people and in healthy people and infected people. What I learned, start off, is start a base here in Central America because that gives you a good reach around to South America, North America, Mexico, and Canada. Start a base in Central Africa. Start a base. You can start a base in Central Asia. And you can start a base in Australia. And that gives you a good reach around the world. With that reach, you should have an easier time curing, keeping yourself from getting cured. Let's go back. Vampirism. Created by a vampire, the vampire releases a unique strain of the Shadow Plague called Vampirism, which spreads independently from the vampire. Infected humans have no idea what the vampire has planned for them. Let's speed it up. Your vampire can change the world. Your vampire is shown as a red icon on the world map. It has unique powers and abilities, so use it wisely as you try to cover the world in shadow. Step two, get bats. Early on, and dark cloud. Vampire able to meditate and emit a shadow plague in huge clouds. Tens of thousands of humans infected each day. Blah, 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 blah. You don't want to stick in one area for too long. My first choice is usually I want to travel as far as I can and make my way for Central Asia or the next area I want to place a place. Global warming, hot countries getting hotter. Latest research shows that hot countries are getting significantly hotter due to the global warming. Blah, blah, blah. Last time I did this and I beat it and I followed this just about exactly as I'm gonna do now. I when I jumped to fucking Greenland, it fucking <laughs> bye bye Greenland. And when that happened, I was uh, no more Greenland for my vampire because I don't need them noticing. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure. Look at that. Canada's jumping too. Damn. <laughs> but it, I'm not sure. I'm not. Completely sure it might be wrong. Don't quote me on this, but it's a tip for anyone playing Plague Inc. involved in the Shadow Plague. I'm pretty sure only you feed. I think the others might feed. I'm not sure. They, I don't know. I'm pretty sure only you do. And or if they do feed, they don't notice. When they feed, they only notice where you feed. Because when I played the last time, wherever I was, the Who and the Templars noticed it. They didn't notice it in the country that I had been to, so I had to keep on the move. Unknown disease spotted in Greenland. Random genetic testing in Greenland has detected a previously unknown something unknown dis pathogen called vampirism. Genetic analysis shows similarity with bat-borne diseases. Blah, 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 blah. Causes severe bruising in humans. And now, okay, it jumped a little bit there too, but it's not as not as awful as And I see this gone. Let's jump in at the next thing. Personally I'm gonna add the layer thing. Because right now I don't need blood hunt. Top-notch mine opens in Sweden. Miners are craft and crafters looking forward to opening of a new top-notch mine. Diamond rate. Diamond mine, which is expected to revitalize Sweden's economic economy. Dude. Damn, look, there's already vampires appearing in fucking... I'm gonna slow down because things are starting to overwhelm me. There's already vampires appearing in Colombia. Colombia. Let's go to Central Asia. Dun, dun, dun. It's great. Set base in Central Asia. Make 
our next move for Australia, which is way down in the middle of no east bumfuck. Vampires and struggles to spread in harsher climates in order to infect people in hotter, colder, or rich countries. You will need to upgrade your layers to give specific climate tolerances and then build them in key countries. I don't want to build them in key countries. I want to travel to Australia. Dun, dun. Greenland and Iceland are right now the main host lands for him, which is exactly why I can't be there. Because that puts me in the same area where a ton of the vampires are. Land, create a layer. I'm not sure, but I feel like Australia should jump relatively quickly. Take back with the bats, make my way back first. Central Asia. Get that. Put that up. Press that button. Hit auto battle. Hit yes. Time to add some points. Bats can fly further. Dark cloud upgraded. On that, and that, and that. Get as close to Central Asia as I can. Central America is mostly infected. Canada's getting better and better each day. 42,000, 43,000 day. Blah, blah, blah. A lot of people. Get into Central Asia now. Central Africa now. Create my final layer. Spend some time in Central Africa. Will I infect people in the area? Look at that. Central Asia is now getting infected like wildfire. I leave Russia alone for the most part right now because it's a big ass place. But with the big ass place comes a lot more protection. Doing good there. I'm gonna have to leave shortly though. That blood hunt, finally. Start adding dark pulsates and other things soon. now before I get detected. Let's go down here. I didn't spend very much time here. Vampire feeding attracts attention in Australia. I, I gotta leave again. Vampires feeding feeds by drinking the blood of its victims, leaving behind trained corpses. It's only a matter of time before Or humans realize that they are dealing with something far worse than a murderous coat. It's been a while since I've been in Central Africa, or Central America. So let's get some traveling. Let's go to Brazil. Brazil people! By leaving the area, they suspect you and they generally slow them down. Spend perk points on it. Vampirism has mutated to develop the dark pulsate pastules symptom without using any DNA points. Meh. Let's add nocturnal. Let's add hypersensitivity. Let's add anemia. Let's leave. Let's click on that, 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 and that. That and that. But by Australia, Vampirism placed on watch list. Vampirism has been placed on the WHO watch list. Due to its ability to cause severe bruising in victims already dangerous, governments are warned that it could become unstoppable. I need to travel as things are starting to heat up. Let's go to Japan. 
Another decent area to start a base is probably in Japan, because that gives you a base on the corner, the end of the world, the edge of the world, as I like to put it. Right now, I'm not going to do that. My next point, my next job, I have quite a few people, I have 30 DNA points, Vampiric Awakening. I didn't know at first, but I didn't know now. You can have more than one vampire. I'm pretty sure I came across that, I don't remember, but I'm going to have three. Right now, evolve. Start with two. Vampiric Awakening is beyond. Hundreds of millions of people will be killed by vampirism as it searches for available hosts to turn into a vampire. To speed things up, infect more people, Vampiric Awakening can be used more than once. New lab built in Norway. Okay, where's that lab again? Norway. So, we gotta go fuck that lab's day up. There's a lab, I need a fuck it's damn. Which is why I got blood rage. Lab in Norway destroyed. I wasn't done reading. Blood cult murders continue in Norway. Authorities in Norway are battling to stop the blood cult murders that are terrifying the country. So far, no one has been caught, but the claim it is only a matter of time. Let's make my way back to Central America. I don't think I got the second vampire yet. Speaking of which, I meant to do this. Japan executes infected. You need to set up Toronto Center. I want to know. Korea. Fuck shit. New vampire created in Sedan. Perfect. With that, we have two vampires, and I need to do this. Vampires, lair healing, 10 DNA points, symptoms, malignate pigmentation. Skin pigmentation alter. Increase the chance of mutation when exposed to sunlight and harder to cure. Next is this. Latent adaptation. Pathogen repeatedly alters a protein in its own cell walls, helping to prevent immune reaction significantly meaning harder to cure but for that steroidic boost victims develop additional muscle additional muscle mass and are more attractive increases infectivity i mean that seems like a pretty good thing on either case but take this vampire the base i'm gonna peel off the base take this vampire who's already at full health move to here Take him again. Get rid of his fucking base. Fuck you. Yeah. Bitch. Take that. 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 I didn't mean for you to start attacking people. But I do want you to attack people. Sorry, my bad. Okay. okay. Take you. Send you to there. Send you to there. You have to fight the labs to get the cure from developing. Oh, there's another boy down there. I didn't even see it. Attack that. Attack that. That large disease reveals global vampire threat. The secretive multinational defense company says a vampire is behind the shocking blood cult murders, as well as the outbreak of vampirism. The Templar entities claims to ta be taking urgent actions to defend humanity. Fuck you, bitch. Go to Australia. Australia to there, which is Philipp the Philippines. Send you to Central America, putting you in a good position. Start blood rage. Go to transmission. Go to symptoms. Finally, to evolve that. Now my fucking thing is even harder to cure, and you guys can go eat a dick. Raw, raw. Templar Industries activates a military protocol, claiming that humanity is at risk of extinction. Templar Industries have activated advanced military bases across the globe to fight them. There is one in the Middle East. There is one in Spain. There is one in Argentina. And there is one in Canada. There is a lab down here. Fuck your lab, bitch. Eat a dick. 
Templar working on a cure for vampirism. Templar Industries commit, com, commit to using their military research facilities to help develop a cure for vampirism. They aim to exploit their knowledge of the vampire to push research in new directions. And I have not nearly enough people. Pheromonic secretion, pale ore. Not sure if this is going to work, but I'm going to make the attempt. Let's see if we can make a base our bench. Templar base in the Middle East destroyed by vampires. In a cloud of darkness, the vampires brutally attacked the Templar base. Some survivors were able to escape to, an, uh, to other Templar bases, which, with crucial knowledge, that will help fight the vampires in the future. I don't give a damn. One of your bases is no more bitches. Let's move them to Central America. I gotta leave him be for now, don't I? Yep, I gotta leave him be. You guys can heal up. Templar, prepare to join. Where are you sending it? Tell me where you're sending it. I need to know where you're sending it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, fucking bitch. Eat a dick. Photophobia. As... DC, as the disease infects the brain, excessive optic nerve pulse triggers a severe intelligence to light, increases infectivity. Hyperdome, the teeth in the affected grow and can protrude from the mouth, increasing infectivity. Jugular bite. Look at this guy. He looks like a fucking elf with vampire teeth. Oh geez, the cure is jumping. Middle East, Canada, down there, okay. You bastards can eat my hairy dick. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, we're getting our asses hand to us this time around. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fucky, fuck, 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 fuck! Stop your cure, you bitches, I'm done with your shit. My vampires won't put up with your shit. Nope, eat a dick. I might lose again. I beat this once already. Fuck off. I wonder if I kill this base, if I can manage to fuck your day up, bitch. Take your research away. Oh no! Fuck off! Shit. Fuck. Burn in hell, bitch. Burn in hell. No. Fuck! He was a point of view combo. Significantly increases the number of teenage girls wanting to date pale, brooding men. But strain on the PUC's resources. Does that get rid of it? Kill it. Fuck! Yes, I dropped secure. Fuck yes. I still has a chance, bitches. I still.
still has a chance. Not a very good chance, but has a chance. <sighs> Damn it. It's not going to last me very long. I need to heal and then take out another Templar base. Is that a drone? Is that a drone coming for me? Going for that base, huh? Fuck your day up, bitch. My vampire's in the mood. You already tried to cure me once. Silent but deadly combo. People are complaining about awful smells that appear to suddenly appear out of nowhere. <laughs> it was the dog, I promise it was the dog, guys. Let's try another Templar base and fuck your shitty days up. Dude, once Templar is gone, it's fucking. I'm gonna rain shit all over you bitches. I hope this doesn't kill my ass, though. Please don't. Fuck! It's aggravating. Fuck! Ah! I, I beat this already once. Why can't I do it? Fuck! I, I know. I fucking beat it once already. I got the fucking healthy eater perk. Fuck shit! Take a health eater. I even had more life and they were still kicking my fucking dick. Ah. Ah. Fuck it. Okay guys, that's it for now. Dylan Rage quits. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching.